Hi, welcome back at a new workout. Today we're going to do a cardio workout and it's suited for beginners. There's no jumping exercises. The exercises are easy to follow along. So just get ready and start. Okay, we start this workout with a short warming up before we go over to the main workout. We're going to start just with the simple side steps. Step from side to side, tap your toe, curl and extend your arms and your upper body is straight. Find your own pace with every exercise in this workout. Active side steps, just to warm up, get the blood flowing. With every exercise we do, the upper body is straight up, the shoulders are low, and you engage your abs so the belly button is in, and tap to the side. We do just a few more side steps, and then we go over to the front taps. The main workout consists of 10 different exercises, performed 50, 45 seconds on and a 15 seconds active rest, and after the 10 exercises, you do have a water break. In the second round, we do the same exercises. Okay, move over to the front taps. Tap your toes into the floor in front of you. When you do that, slightly bend your knees. And remember, it's just the warming up. Tap your toes as far front as you can. And your upper body is straight up. Tap it in front, toes into the floor. Few more seconds and then we go over to the in and out march. Tap, left, right, left, right. Last ones and march out and in. And we switch from side to side. So right and start with left. Out, out, in, in. That's it. Wide and small wide and small. Move your arms along, get a heart rate up a little. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. That's it. Getting warm a bit. Heart rate is getting up. Body is getting warm. So we're going to do two more exercises and then it's serious. Game on in that main workout. Okay, go over to the double side tap. So tap from side to side, double. Just straight up on your standing leg, you don't lower down. We need the legs in the main workout. Just tap double. Curl and extend your arms. And of course, keep your upper body straight, your shoulders down low, and your belly button in. Double, double. So there are no jumping exercises in this workout. No different moves, you just can follow along. And you can choose your own speed. But of course, challenge yourself every exercise. <clears throat> Double on right, double on left. And the final on right, final on left. And we go over to the high knees, hop. Just some small knee lifts, not too high, just a little. It's the final exercise of the warming up. Swing your upper body just a little from right to left. Lift up your knees a little, march, and swing. Just 
So in the main workout, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds active rest, and the active rest means active. So you do not stand still, only if you really need it. But try to keep on a march, you're doing side steps, just stay active. But try to have that 15 seconds active rest to recover, re catch your breath a little. And we're going over to that main workout in a few seconds. The first thing we're going to do is a double side step. We cross punch with the arms. So come on over to a little bit to the side, double on right, double, and to the left. Punch it and cross your arms. Cross, hop, double. That's it. Punch your arms in front and pull back. Double side steps, big steps. Upper body straight, belly button in, shoulders low. Punch it, punch it, 15 seconds. Power, and step to the left, to the right. Final to the left, and finish on right, and lower your arms. And now stay active, make some side steps. All right, get your breath, take a deep breath in and out. And the next one we're going to do is we crush behind and we swing our arms over. Come on, follow me. So you tip your toes behind you into the floor, cross it and swing your arms. Ha, to the right, to the left. While you do that, engage your abs because you work your obliques a little. Ha, ha, tap, tap, cross behind and swing your arms over from side to side. Just cross behind, tap your toes into the floor and swing your arms around. From left to right, from left to right, just a few more. And the last one, lower your arms down and stay active. The next one is a side tap with a push in front. So what we're going to do is slightly bend our knees now. We tap to the side and press the arms in front. So feet are on hip wide, knees are slightly bent, upper body straight up and go. Tap and push. From side to side, so right tap, left tap. Right tap, left tap. When you tap, you stay down on your legs. You don't come up, only if you need it. Slightly bend. Press your arms in front, ha, press, 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 and stay down, just a little, not too deep, 15 seconds, tap your toes to the side, and press, power, almost there, last one, and come on up, lower your arms down, the next one is a butt kick. So we come into a real big stand, we bring the heels towards the butt, kick it, and while we do that, we make the side raises. Do not pull your shoulders up to your ears, just your arms are going up. Okay, ready? And go. So kick your butt and raise your arms. Bring the heels up towards your butt. Arms are going up to the side on shoulder height. The upper body is straight up. Come on, pull your belly button in. And raise your arms, up, up. Kick your butt, that's it, 20 seconds. From side to side, left, right. Almost there, five seconds. Raise your arms up. Last one, and that's it. Okay, the next one is a V-walk. We walk to the left, tap, and back to the right. That's the movement. So step, tap, step, tap. Come on, follow me. Ha. To the left, back, twist over to the right. That's it. Move your arms along, active power walk. To the right. To the left, tap it, over to the right, yes, 
We're going to repeat the same exercises in the next round. From side to side. Move your arms along, come on, power. Final to the right, and that's it. Okay, the next one is a march in place, active power march. And while we do that, we tap the shoulders, reach out, tap the shoulders, reach out. So by doing that, we're going to pump up and finish up the heart rate. So get ready and march, tap, tap, tap. And this one, you can speed up, pump your arms up and down, get that heart rate up, and march. Ha, ha, ha. That's it. Tap your shoulders and reach, reach, reach. Keep on marching in place. You don't have to lift your knees up high. Pump your arms up and down. That's what's going to get the heart rate up. Step your shoulders, step your shoulders. Five seconds left. And that's it, very well done. Okay, the next one is a front kick. And while we do that, we make a shoulder press. So we press out, pull back. The arms are in a 90 degree angle, elbows up on shoulder height. Just press and pull back. So come on, kick and press, that's it. You don't have to kick high. Just keep your upper body straight up. Do not lean back. Straight up, belly button in, and your elbows up on shoulder height. Just press your hands in front while you make that kick. And while you make that kick, that's great for the lower abs, so squeeze it. Kick and press, kick and press. Elbows up. 10 seconds left, come on. Don't lower your arms down, keep them up. And the last one, that's it. Now you can lower your arms down, make a shoulder roll, shake it out, but stay active. The next one, here's a double side step. And when we do that, we make the bicep curls. The upper arms are still, make yourself your fist and curl. So get ready, double, double. That's it, big steps, knees slightly bent, upper body straight, and make the curls. So bring your fists towards your shoulders, work your biceps, ha. To the right, to the left. Curl, curl, keep your upper arms still, just bring your fists towards your shoulders. 10 seconds, big steps. Final to the left, and finish to the right. And that's it. Okay, two more exercises, then you have that water break. Going over to the double repeaters. We do the double repeaters on the left, and double on the right. So get ready, and go. Double, double. Pull your knee up, pump your arm up and down. Double on the right, double on the left. That's it, just pull your knee up. Your arm is going up and down. Find your balance. Slightly bend your standing knee. It's all about the pump. Get that heart rate up. If your heart rate isn't up yet, you have to go a little bit faster. Double on right, double on left, final on right, and that's it. Okay, final exercise. We're going to do the grapevine, and that's a side step, a cross behind, step, and tap. While we do that, we make the cross with our arms, cross pull. So come on over to the side and go to the right. Cross, hop, cross, hop. So cross behind and pull your arms back with power, cross it. That's it. Tap, hop. Cross behind, tap, cross behind, tap. 
Come on, I want to see those fists. And pull back. Left. All right. That's it. Come on, 10 seconds. Final to the left. And come on, we finish on right. And that's it. Okay, you finished the first round. Now you have your well-deserved water break. Make sure you recover a little bit. It's a water break from 25 seconds. If you need a longer break, just hit it and go start the second round when you're ready. See you there. Okay, back to that second round. We had a little break, drink some water. And now we're going over to the 10 exercises again. We start with a double side cross punch in front. So come on, double to the side. Just uh, basic steps, but punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it. That's it, cross it. Keep your upper body straight, belly button in, shoulders low, that's it. Double on right. Double on left, punch, punch. Come on, 15 seconds. Power in those punches. Last one, and that's it, okay. Next one is that back cross. Tap with the swings over from right to left. When you twist in your upper body, make sure you engage your up, use your obliques. So get ready and swing over from left to right. Big step, cross behind, tap your toes into the floor. And that's it. Swing over, hop, right, left, right, left. And get your abs. Come on, use your obliques. Swing it with power from side to side. Swing it. All right, left. Just a few more. Swing it over. Tap and cross. Last one, and that's it. Okay, stay active, don't stand still in this workout. The next one is the side tap with the push in front. When we make those steps, we bend down on knees a little. So come on, feet on hip wide and start. Tap, right, left. Come on, push your hands front in power on shoulder height. Bring back to the chest. That's it, tap, tap. Tap. Come on, upper body is straight up, do not lean over. Keep your belly button in and your arms up. Don't lower it down and stay down, slightly bend your knees. That's it, 15 seconds. Almost there. Last one, and lower your arms down. Okay, the next one is that wide stand butt kicks with the side raises. Now working the shoulders a little. So come into that wide stand, get ready to kick your butt, and go, kick it. So you curl your leg, bring the heel towards your butt, as far as you can, try to kick it, and raise your arms up on shoulder high. Hop, hop. Up. That's it. Come on. Squeeze your abs, belly button in, and upper body is straight up. Do not lean over. Wide stand and kick it. Kick your butt. Right, left. And raise your arms up. That's it. Just a few more. Last 
last one. And that's it. Okay, shake out your arms. Shake out your legs and stay active. Take a deep breath in. The next one is that V walk. Going over to the left, back over to the right. Make that V. So, get ready. Over to the left. Step and tap. Walk back and tap. That's it. From side to side. Come on, curl your arms. Power walk. Hop. Upper body is straight. Tap. Tap. From left. Head to your right. Walk over from side to side. Move your arms along. Power. Almost there. Tap it to the right. Over to the left. And we finish on the right side. And that's it. Okay. The next one is that march in place. And we're going to pump up. Get that heart rate up. By pumping the arms up, down, up, down. Go as fast as you can. So get ready. And march. Pump it. Pump it. Tap your shoulders. Reach out. I want to see those hands high up in the air. Up. All the way up and tap your shoulders. Hop, 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 hop. That's it. Come on. March in place. Upper body is straight, belly button in, and tap your shoulders. Reach, reach, reach. Come on, speed it up. Get it heart rate up. 10 seconds left. Come on, up, up. Up and tap your shoulders up and down, up and down. Last one, and that's it. Very well done. Come on, shake it out. And the next one is that front kick with the shoulder press. So the elbows are up and shoulder height again. We press in front while we make some kicks. So feet on hip wide, get ready, elbows up and go. Kick and press. Working the shoulders, working the chest, lower abs by kicking, lifting the legs up. And while we do that, in a fast pace, it's a great cardio exercise. Kick it, kick it. Come on. Upper body straight up, do not lean back. 20 seconds. Keep your elbows up, high shoulder high, and press in front. Come on, 10 seconds. Power in those presses, you can do that. Hop, hop, last one. That's it. Okay, make your shoulder roll. Stay active. Take a deep breath in. And the next one is this double side step with the bicep curls. So always keep the tension on your biceps. Get ready and go. Double. Double. To the right. To the left. Upper body is straight. Make big steps and curl your arms. Bring the fists towards your shoulders. Keep your elbows still, just curl, curl. That's it. 20 seconds. To the right, to the left. Come on, work the biceps. 10 seconds. Final all right, and this time we finish to the left, and that's it. Okay, two more exercises, and then we're going over to a little bit of cooling down, stretching a bit. The next one is that double repeater, so we're going to lift the knee up, tap the knee, double on each side. Starting on left, double, double. Yes, that's it, bring the knee up, and you tap your arm down, pump it. Left, All right, double, up, 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 now lift your knee up, come on, I want to see those knees up high, arms up and down, that's it, 15 seconds, come on, almost there, come on, lift the knees up, 
Final on left, finish on right. And that's it. Okay, final exercise. We finish with the grapevines. So we step, cross behind, step, tap. While we do that, we cross the arms back with power. So come on over, get ready, and go. Cross, tap, cross, tap. That's it. Big steps. Make yourself your fist. Cross your arms and pull back with power. Upper body straight up and belly button is in. Come on, final exercise. Hop, hop, 20 seconds. Power. Cross, tap, cross, tap. Come on, power in those arms. And finish on left. That's it. Ah, very, very well done. You finished the main workout. Now it's time to cool down, get the heart rate down a little. So what we're going to do is just make some side steps. Step to side. Come on, take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Recover from this workout. So, so slow down the pace. You finished this workout. And now it's time to cool down. Get the heart rate down. A little bit of stretching. It's almost mostly the lower part of the body. So. And you can do this workout as often as you want. Make sure you have never rest between workouts, but you can do a workout moreover. Try to speed up the pace, increase a jump if you want to at the end of a workout or at an exercise. You can even increase the intensity by using weights in your hands or ankle weights. So there are lots of options with doing this workout. So enough for the side taps. We tap the heels into the floor. When we do that, go down a little and pull your toes towards your body. You can feel a little stretch in your calves when you do that. Keep breathing in and out. Still recovering from this workout. Pull your toes towards your body. Stretching the calves a little. Press your heels down into the floor. That's it. Slow it down. Focus on your breathings in and out. And pull the toes towards your body. That's great. Pull it. Final on left, finish on right. And that's it. Next one is a tap back. When we do that, we tap the toes into the floor. So tap, tap, tap. So now you pull the heel towards your body and the toes off away from it. Keep your upper body straight, shoulders down low. Take some deep breaths in and out. Ray cover. Pull the heel towards your body. Stretch your flex. Flex your toes to the back. That's it. A few more. And then we go over to a straight calf stretch. So toes into the floor. Tap it. And the last one on right and left. And now take a big step back with your right leg. And press the heel into the floor. Feel that stretch in your calf. Just keep up standing straight up, upper body straight. Press your hips a little forward and your heel down into the floor. Find your balance. And we switch over to the other side. Right leg, is go, left leg is going to the back. Heel into the floor. Press your hips forward a little, upper body straight. Just keep pressing your heel down. Feel that stretch in your calf. If you can't feel that stretch, you have to make a bigger step and keep pressing the heel down. And 
and come on up. Shake out your legs. We're going to do one final stretch and that's for the ankle. So lift one leg up and just circle your leg or, uh, or your ankle, your feet. Small rotations to the outside and reverse to the inside. Release the tension of your ankles. Finding your balance and switch over to the other leg. Rotate your feet to the outside, ankle rotations. Find your balance, upper body is straight. Lift your knee up a little and reverse your circles to the inside. And that's it. Okay, final shake. And now give yourself a thumbs up. You did a great effort finishing this workout. You pressed the play button, you followed along and you finished it. Very well done. Make sure if you like this workout, you hit the subscribe button of the channel, give the workout a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and I hope to see you in the next workout. Have a great day.